We're going to take a quick tour through sort of a new level of depravity for radical Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, and she's as disgusting as she is hypocritical. Remember all of Marjorie Taylor Greene's my HIPAA stuff where somebody would ask her, hey, are you vaccinated? And she would go, well, that's my HIPAA. And of course, it wasn't HIPAA relates to the transmission of medical data by medical professionals and providers and insurance companies and associated organizations. If a reporter goes, hey, are you vaccinated? It doesn't violate HIPAA, but uh, we now have Marjorie Taylor Greene sharing the medical information of a child. Now, we're going to look at an article from LGBTQ Nation. There's nothing really concerning in what I'm going to show you, uh, but there are like sort of very mild medical pictures that are going to come up as part of what Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted just as a heads up. Marjorie Taylor Greene shares child's medical photos in bizarre anti trans rant. It's not clear the Congresswoman even knows what the photos show, but she's sure they show a minor and she shared the pictures anyway. OK, Marjorie Taylor Greene shared pictures of one or more minors on Twitter in order to attack the family of a possibly transgender young person. This child is not old enough to vote, buy cigarettes or watch an R rated movie but they let her choose to have them cut her breast off. She wrote while sharing a tweet with two pictures. One of the pictures shows a girl in her early teens fully dressed. The other shows a young person in their late teens or early 20s shirtless after what happens, what appears to be a double mastectomy. My Protect Children's Innocence Act will stop this, she wrote, referring to a bill she introduced last month. Green retweeted anti-trans activist Chloe Cole, who wrote reality, reality check? Nothing is okay about this. Okay, so the pictures are here. Okay, there's 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 really nothing. There's almost nothing that we can see here. Um, on the left, again, it's a picture of what appears to be a young woman, and then on the right, you can't even really tell if it's the same person. You you can't really tell anything about it. There's someone with with band aids over their nipples, and um, uh, there's a scar, and there could have been a double mastectomy there. It, it, we don't even really know who this is or what it is. But Marjorie Taylor Greene's belief is that it's all the same person and that at least in some of these pictures, maybe all this individual is a minor. Now, what's called gender affirming surgery is not performed on minors, writes LGBTQ Nation. In fact, the oft repeated claim was rated false by PolitiFact. Nevertheless, the idea that children's hospitals are performing gender affirming surgeries on young children has gained traction on the far right, leading to harassment and death threats against pediatricians. Okay, I don't even care about that part because we've covered that part before. This is not a HIPAA issue. What Marjorie Taylor Greene did here is not a HIPAA issue. HIPAA relates to medical professionals and related organizations sharing information about patients. But if Marjorie Taylor Greene is concerned with medical privacy to the point where when she's asked by a journalist, are you vaccinated? She goes, that's my HIPAA. You don't get to ask me that. Then she really should care about this. This should be wrong based on her own apparent moral compass. There is no such thing as a low below which this woman will not stoop. She's a horrible person. I hope that there are consequences for this. These people offer nothing substantive. And as we talked about earlier in the show, when Lauren Boebert, during her debate against her opponent in Colorado, mentioned Nancy Pelosi's con job a dozen times. Part of it is that stuff works to some degree with their electorate because their electorate is so weaponized. The other part of it is uh, they don't actually have anything substantive to offer. Marjorie Taylor Greene doesn't offer any policy. And um, this is what you get when you put these people in power, retweeting pictures of individuals she believes are minors. We don't know that they're minors. We don't know the origins of the picture. We really don't know anything. But she believes that at least in, in one of those pictures, that individual is a minor, if it's even the same person in both pictures. And she still is retweeting and amplifying it. It's absolutely horrifying.